Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to an outfit styling video. So I thought I would show you some of my favourite cosy, comfy, casual outfits that I have been wearing recently, the three C's. Cosy, comfy, casual. So my favourite day of the week over the last few years has become Sunday. I love Sundays, I love the relaxed vibe. I don't get those Sunday night blues anymore because I absolutely love my job so I never feel anxious or worried or depressed about going to work the next day which I realise is very rare so I feel very lucky to not have that. But I just love doing wholesome things on a Sunday. I love going for breakfast or brunch or going to the pub for a Sunday roast or going on a walk. Even doing my reformer pilates and having brunch with the girls. There are just so many things I love about Sundays and I thought that I would put together some of my favourite outfits. Obviously you don't have to just wear these on Sundays so that's why it's not in the title of the video but these looks work well for any kind of errand running, casual days, some workout clothes as well in there. So just some nice relaxed outfits for every day of the week. So I'm gonna start off with what I'm actually wearing now and it is this beautiful grey tracksuit. You'll be able to see it a lot better in the cutaway in the try on clip but I got this recently from Adenola as you may be able to tell. I did a quite a big order on there, I got this tracksuit and I got some of the knitwear as well that they've just released and I'm obsessed with it. I've got loads of Adenola active wear, really beautiful sets, a coffee bean one which you guys will have seen before, I think I've actually got the leggings for that in this video coming up but I just love Adenola, it is the optimum of casual active wear really great quality really nice styles really minimal simple outfits so i picked up this beautiful tracksuit really nice like light marl gray super soft really comfortable and just very easy to wear i have quite a few tracksuits but the gray one that i was wearing a lot was getting really bobbly and it just hadn't worn that well because i think i'd worn it so much and washed it quite a few times so i thought i was in need of upgrading to a nice new grey tracksuit so I picked this one up I got a small in the jumper and a small in the bottoms you do not need to size up it's already quite oversized I probably could have even got away with an extra small but I do quite like the oversized fit so with this tracksuit I have just popped over the top my favourite Zara tailored coat this is old you've probably seen it on my channel before but I've had it for about three years Zara do bring out a similar one most winters so there probably is a similar one online at the moment but I've got this in a size extra small I would have sized up to a small I think in hindsight I do love the way that this is nice and fitted and tailored but I prefer the more oversized look it still works well I can still wear it over this oversized tracksuit and it's not too tight but yeah in hindsight I would have picked it up in a small not an excess but it's just a really nice classic tailored coat you may think on first impression that this kind of thing would work better with like a heeled boot or a slightly smarter outfit. I love the contrast of a smart coat over a really casual relaxed outfit. Kind of takes the tracksuit from lounging around at home to being a little bit more acceptable to wear out. And then on my feet I have my brand new Sambas. These are the new colorway, the black and cream. I adore these. I don't have any dark colored trainers so I picked them up. I wasn't going to originally because I already have the original Sambas, the Gazelles, and I had the specials as well. I actually sold the specials on my Vinted because I thought I cannot have four pairs of the same shoe. So I sold the specials and picked these ones up instead. I just think I'll get more wear out of these. I take my normal size and currently as I'm filming this video these are still in stock in all sizes so hopefully they still are by the time it's uploaded. And then I just popped my classic YSL with this look nice and simple. I was thinking of a crossbody bag but there was just a bit too much going on it felt a bit restricting. I wanted a nice comfortable oversized look so a top handle bag was perfect for this. For look number two we are going for kind of a hot chocolate and marshmallows colour palette. So these are the Adenola coffee bean leggings in question that I was speaking about earlier. Really nice brown chocolate brown kind of colour. Just a thin full length legging. I actually got the ones with a pocket on the side. I don't know why I picked the one with the pocket because I've never used it, but that's the ones these are. I've got a matching sports bra to this as well and a matching oversized jumper. You may remember I wore it to the airport in the summer when I went on holiday and it's just the perfect comfortable airport look. I'm actually gonna show you guys my airport look for when I'm going away in this video as well. Then instead of going sports bra, I thought I'd just go for 
a nice plain white t-shirt with these leggings. This is from Coz. I love these t-shirts. I have this one and I have it in the stripe as well. Amazing quality, my favourite high street t-shirts. They're a little bit on the pricey side. They are £25, so higher end of high street, but good quality, really nice and thick, fab fit. I've bought similar ones from Zara and H&M before for kind of around 6 7 99 They just don't wear well, they don't fit well, they go grey in the wash, and I haven't found that with these ones yet. So I popped the grey cos t-shirt on underneath, and then I've been loving pairing the white t-shirt with my Arquette alpaca wool jumper. I just feel like the white peeking out the top here is such a nice touch, really nice detail and I love these colours together. See what I mean about the hot chocolate and marshmallows? This jumper I got in a size small, it's super oversized, really soft, I don't find it itchy at all. It's just a lovely jumper to lounge around in. It's definitely something that you can dress up as well. I've worn this before with jeans and heels, I've worn it with black trousers and heels before but I just think with these colours it works so nicely and sticking on that hot chocolate theme I thought it's only right to pair this look with my chocolate brown Adidas Gazelles. I adore these trainers. I don't know how I managed to get my hands on them because I was so late to the party. I just randomly checked ASOS and they had one of my size left in stock so I checked out super fast but yeah I love these trainers really really nice and simple they go perfectly with this outfit obviously I could just pair my classic sambas with this and I think it would work kind of just the same I thought the chocolate brown just tied everything in a little bit better I have gone for the same black wool coat over the top of the outfit and then I've also popped my Celine Triumph. I just think a crossbody worked quite nicely with this. Again, like quite a smart bag, a smart tailored coat and really nice casual wear underneath. Love this outfit, super comfy and a little bit different to just wearing like a gym kit or a tracksuit under a wool coat. Outfit number three, we have more Adenola. This was another piece of knitwear that I picked up in the recent order that I did. I saw these jumpers when they first come out with the navy writing. I think it says black on the website, but it definitely looks navy. I got the white as soon as that one got released because I just thought it was a bit more my style. And I love this jumper. I've worn it so much. Really nice quality, a really kind of like thick, heavy knit. Lovely sizing. It works so well how I've styled it here, just nice and casually. Really nice to wear just with plain black leggings and sambas. But also I've styled this with black jeans and a long wool coat as well. So really, really versatile. And I know I'm gonna get so much wear out of this. I also got this in a size small. Again, don't need to size up. It already comes up quite oversized. Ah, we actually have another full Adenola outfit. I didn't even register that this is all from Adenola, but I popped this grey basic on underneath. I wanted the Skims version of this for so long but it was never in stock so I just picked up this one from Adenola and it does the job. It's really really nice, really tight fitting. I got this in an extra small. Hindsight I definitely should have got a small because it does come up very tight. I mean it still works but it is very tight fitting. I just love this colour. Great basic to have. Goes with so many things. And then trouser wise I picked these up in the summer from Adenola really nice kind of straight leg elasticated waist off-white trouser they have a pocket at the back and they just work so nicely with this grey basic and if the weather's a bit warmer you can just put the jumper over your shoulders like i've styled it in the cutaway or it looks really really nice with the jumper on as well the teetering on the edge of spring i think with this outfit but these trousers are fab again this is something that i wore to the airport last year really comfy and something a bit different to wear on the bottom half that's still comfortable, that's not leggings or tracksuit bottoms. These I got in a size small as well. And then it felt only right to pair this outfit with my classic Sambas. The grey and the white I think just worked perfectly and they're a great shoe to go with the white trousers. So now we've gone through my whole Adidas collection, I'll try and show you some different shoes. So I said I was gonna show you guys the outfit that I am planning on wearing to the airport in a few weeks time. I might actually, be away whilst this video goes up I can't quite remember but I picked up these knitted trousers from H&M and I got them a little while ago to wear kind of over Christmas to lounge around in for that Twixmas time and they were so super comfy they're a really nice ribbed knit elasticated waist yeah just a really nice trouser they did have a matching top as well but I think that was 
sold out when I picked these up so I just got them on their own and I got them in a size small they're quite oversized I would say they are quite loose and baggy around the waist and around the leg which I don't mind I think it's going to be super comfortable I am heading to somewhere cold so I need a nice warm airport outfit I picked up this grey cardigan to wear with the trousers I thought an all grey look would be quite cute this is just some Stradivarius and I got it in a size small I've also got on the Adenola basic underneath in case I do get hot I can remove the cardigan this was super affordable as well I think yeah 22.99 and then because it is going to be chilly I'm going to take my chocolate brown aviator this one is from Zara I got it a little while ago and it's such a warm coat it's fully fleece lined inside it's a really nice kind of flexible shape as well it's not too structured so it's very easy to wear very comfortable I got it in a size small and again it's oversized you do not need to size up you could even go a size down if you don't want it too oversized but I quite like that it's big because it means I can layer up underneath it and then of course Ugg boots are a must for this kind of outfit especially for where I'm going in the Alps it's going to be cold so I wanted to take these Uggs with me and I thought it'd be a good idea to wear them on the plane these are my ultra minis in shade antelope which I get so much wear out of and I just take my normal size and I finished off the look with my Celine bag because I am obsessed with it and I'm going to be taking it with me on holiday I thought it was a really good bag to transition both day to night it's the only bag I'm going to be taking because we're only there for five days so I don't need lots of different bags I thought it'd be good for daytime to wear cross body and then I can just do the double strap over and wear it as like a top handle bag in the evening so next up this is one of my favorite outfits it was kind of just created in my mind and then when I put it on I thought yes I love this outfit and I can't wait to wear it so I've got this full set from Tala I had never really tried anything from Tala before and they very kindly sent me these pieces and I'm really really impressed with the quality the material is super stretchy very comfortable these are like a yoga pant kind of flared legging which are really nice they have a very thick waistband they're very kind of flattering on the figure kind of suck you in in the stomach and make the bum look really good as well which is something I think Tara are known for kind of making the most out of your figure and these leggings definitely do that. I got them in a size small. I would say that they do come up on the small side. I potentially could have even got away with a medium. They're not like uncomfortably small, but they are definitely like a tight fit. So I really like them, super comfortable. This kind of outfit is perfect for if I'm doing reformer Pilates and then going for breakfast with the girls, something like this, a nice comfy yoga pant. And then I got this kind of zipped jacket these gym jackets are everywhere at the moment and I love this one for just wearing day to day I'd probably get a bit too hot in this if I was actually going to exercise in it so I'd wear like a sports bra underneath but I really like this it's got the zip the whole way up nice long sleeves a nice kind of like bobbled pattern as well and then it's got a thumb hole zips all the way up it's not like a half or a quarter zip it's a full length zip again this is really tight fitting but I think it looks best tight something like this you wouldn't want it to be loose I got it in a small the two together is a really really nice set then I have finished off this look with a few of my favorite accessories so we have got my Isabel Morant cap here I adore this I bought this for myself at the end of last year as one of my birthday presents and I've worn it so much I'm not usually a hat girl but I really love this one and I love the cream color of it with the black as well I just think it works perfectly with this outfit we've also got my new Sambas again I feel like these two items are going to be seen a lot together they're kind of like a match made in heaven really really love those two together and then over the top to smarten up the outfit a bit I have gone for my Zara camel coat I really love this wool coat my mum got it for me for Christmas uh, she got it in a size extra small to small it's a really nice oversized fit and again it's just one of those ways of smartening up a really casual outfit I definitely could have gone for like my aviator or a bomber jacket with this set but I just feel like the camel coat smartens it up makes it look a bit more chic and more appropriate for doing something like brunch shopping errands rather than just a workout outfit so are we on to look number six number six one two three four five six look number six already so i have a very similar pair of trousers to the taller ones that i just showed you however these ones are looking a little bit more sorry for themselves shall we say i've worn these to death they are from Lululemon. These are called the Groove Pants and they are essentially the same kind of style, just 
a yoga pant, big thick waistband. These ones are, I think, to be honest, a little bit more comfortable, I find them anyway, because they're a bit looser. I got these in a size eight, and yeah, they fit really well. Like I said, super comfy, nice and tight on the thigh, loose on the bottom of the leg. These are a little bit long, so they do tend to get a little bit grubby at the bottom, like if I'm wearing them for a walk, or it's been raining or whatever. They are a bit too long for me, but great if you are a tall gal. But yeah, I just love them, really comfortable. I've always got these on at home. They go with everything. I can wear them with sweatshirts around the house or to run errands, or I can wear them with like a sports bra, sports top, if I'm doing any kind of working out. I just love them. Really, really, really good essential for my casual wardrobe. And then paired with, I have this really nice black long sleeve basic from another version, really nice subtle branding on the back there as well. And this is just a super tight fitting top and I think it goes really nicely with the flared pants. I love flared on the bottom, tight on the top. If I was to wear this with a pair of like tight leggings, because of my body shape, it just wouldn't work well. So I think it's really nice to have the contrast of both. This top I got in a size small. Is it small? I got it in a size extra small actually, that explains why it's so tight. And then over the top of this look, I dug out a favourite piece of mine. This is my black padded gilet. I got this from Zara a couple of years ago in a size medium, so it's a little bit oversized. And I get this out every kind of autumn, winter, spring. Anytime it's the right kind of weather for gilets, I love this. It's a really nice, good quality gilet. It's something a bit different. And yeah, if it's not too cold outside, I'll opt for this because I love the way it looks. So this was gonna be an all black look, but I thought I would pair it with my antelope Uggs. It would look equally as good with the black Sambas or a different pair of trainers. I often wear these Lululemon pants with my grey New Balance as well, but I just thought to keep nice and cozy, I'll go with the Uggs today. And finally, outfit number seven, we have another tracksuit. This one is from Fourth and Reckless, as you can see, and it's a beautiful chocolate brown colour. I absolutely love this. It just says Fourth Studio on the top. Jumper is a size small, and joggers are a size extra small, and actually they both fit perfectly. So I would say take your normal size in the jumper and size down in the joggers, which is what I've done. Really nice round neck, oversized fit, good quality. I would say not as good a quality as this one that I'm wearing from Adenola. The fleece on the inside is just not as good, it really molts everywhere and the structure is just a little bit more flimsy than this one, I feel like this is just, the shape is a bit nicer but still really really nice tracksuit, these are the bottoms, just nice subtle little fourth studio on the side there, cuffed, elasticated waist obviously but yeah really nice comfy tracksuit and you may be able to tell from this video that I love chocolate brown. I just, it's one of my new favourite colours. I love the kind of rich tone of it. I've got so many lovely pieces now in this colour and they all work so nicely together. I just love adding that tone to an outfit. It's a bit warmer than a black, but it's still a nice dark rich colour. So it's my new favourite tone to wear at the moment. And I definitely could have gone full chocolate brown with this look. I could have gone with the brown gazelles and the chocolate brown aviator, but I thought, no, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit and I have gone for my oversized camel coat. This is a brushed wool, super long oversized tailored coat. This is from Source Unknown. It's a few years old, so no longer available, but obviously I'll find similar for you. And it's just a really nice oversized coat, really comfortable. It works well with this kind of outfit. And I really liked the tones of this camel with the chocolate brown. And then accessories wise, I thought the Ugg Tasmans obviously matched the coat really nicely. And then I've gone for my Demelier Midi New York bag in this color is called Mocha. And the two accessories just kind of pull the whole outfit together nicely. So that is everything. Those are my seven cozy outfits for January. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I loved putting these looks together because it's been all I've been wearing at the moment. If you have any other suggestions for types of styling videos you'd like to see, seven outfits for a different occasion. I have a date night styling video that I'm planning for maybe some Valentine's Day looks if you guys are going out or doing anything for Valentine's Day, then that will be coming very soon. Let me know your favorite look from this video in the comments. If you did enjoy it, it would be amazing if you could give it a little thumbs up and if you are new to my channel I would love 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 it if you could hit the subscribe button and I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye!